What's going on everybody? It's Rock with Rock with Modern Survival. I am back again with another video. Today we are doing it on Friday instead of Sunday. Um, the uploads are going to be different, so yeah. Um, we've got a new video coming, a new talk show coming. It's called Guy Talk. Uh, that'll be going up from Monday to Friday. If you want to go check that out over on our new channel called Guy Talk. Uh, it's me, Big Bad Bob, and the Trailer Park Ninja Chris. So yeah, um, I've got my trusty notebook here. We are going to go over some facts and some information about rabbits or rabbitries uh, that I have been going over with some people in my Facebook groups and stuff like that and I felt like you guys might want to know it as well all right so what is the most popular meat rabbit and its size a lot of people think a Flemish giant would be a good meat rabbit it's actually not the best meat rabbit they get huge but they take a long time to get there all right and the only thing that they get huge with is their bones you're not getting as much meat so you're getting more bones and that, for me that's just not that's not worth it. I want a fast grow up time and I want a lot of meat. So the, the, the two that I would grow is a New Zealand and a Californian. There are large meat rabbits, all right? You can go for a medium meat rabbit and we'll, that'll be a whole nother uh, video if we'll talk about it, all right? But the New Zealand and the Californian are crossbreeds. Um, they, they normally have big litters, they're good moms and they take less time to grow out big, all right? Their grow outs about 12 weeks and then they're ready for butchering. Um, and one thing you want to remember whenever you're butchering these guys, don't get attached to them. All right, you're going to want to get attached to them. But the problem is when you get attached to them, you're just going to get more and more and more rabbits. And you do not need that and you do not want that. All right, unless you want to become a huge breeder and a huge uh, uh, meat production, then yeah, keep doing that. Just remember on the breeding cycle of them or the breeding process. All right. You do not want to uh, mix that up. And we'll explain that to an, in another video as well. It won't be in this one because I got, I got a lot of stuff to go through. When do does, or when do breeds start mating, all right? Or when do does, when do males, but when do breeds start mating? Um, eight to 12 weeks, is you, they will start breeding. And if you, if you have the same, if you have a male and female that are the same age in the, um, cage together, then yes, you want to separate them. But the way I do it is I have a female, which is two months older than my male. So she'll come in heat before he is ready to mate. And that's how exactly how I wanted it. So whenever he is ready to mate, she'll be old enough to mate safely. All right. Now, the reason that people say that you can um, breed them at eight to 12 weeks is because the females are ready to be bred. All right but it is also very dangerous for the females to be bred at that time. Their bodies are not, not physically capable of withstanding that all the time. You can have successful breeds, breeding um, processes at that time, but your ideal is to wait for five to eight months. That way their bodies have grown and that way they're, they're, they're not gonna die and their kits aren't gonna die. Because the whole reason is for these guys to be taken care of as much as possible and to make sure that you're going to get the best breed, the best, the best breeding size that you can have. All right? That's the way I wanted to say it. All right? One other thing is rabbits fostering other rabbits. Um, other mothers fostering other mothers' kits. All right? It can happen and sometimes it will happen. All right? It's the same thing. Um, but the way you do it is if you if, say you're, say Jacob's female right here doesn't take to her babies. She should because she's a um, New Zealand and they are great mothers. They're excellent mothers. But if just in case, because she is a first time mother, if hers doesn't breed or hers doesn't milk her babies, I can foster them with mine because we're going to breed them at the exact same time. And you need to make sure that you're breeding them at the exact same time. That way you know Mine has milk or she's has milk. Maybe mine won't feed her babies. So I have to take her babies and put them over with Jacob's um, female. Now how you do that is if you take them over, you let them feed, you bring them back. All right? And then you do that on and off once a day. All right? That way you know they're getting their milk and um, it might give her time to realize, hey, I need to start feeding my babies. Also, you want to remember they won't get their milk sometimes until 48 hours after they have delivered their kits, all right? So don't be expecting, okay, she's got the babies, her milk has dropped, boom, let's get into this, okay? It's not always going to happen that way. 
sometimes their milk will drop within 48 hours of them giving birth. So just give it time and just watch it. And if you don't see the mother at the uh, babies all the time, don't get afraid because she's not going to be there all the time with the kits. In the wild, rabbits normally only go back to the pen or the, the den, not the pen, the den, um, about once a day. And that's normally around nighttime. Because they, at the, during the day, they try to keep predators away, so they don't take, they don't put a lot of uh, attention at the, um, at, at the den, all right? So do not be afraid if you do not see her with the babies all the time, because you're just not going to do it. So what we did today is I actually, and this is going to be something else that we come up with, we have another discussion about, is water consumption. I'm going to actually move this over here, because I want them to have both access to both waters. Um... My guys are drinking a ton of water, but that also is because there's two of them. Where Jacob's is only one on top and bottom. So, yeah. Um, I went out today, and I got them a bunch of grass because I went and mowed. And that's what I did. That's why I'm a little, little sweaty right now. Um, he's just chewing away. I'm sorry. I just love it. I love hearing him chew. Um, that's one thing that you want to remember, too, is if your rabbit's teeth are going to grow like crazy. All right? He doesn't like to be petted. You can pick them up, but he, don't, he doesn't like it all the time. Um, your teeth, they're, they're going to grow like crazy. So what you need to make sure that you have in all their pens is I've got this here somewhere. Just let me find it. All right, here we go. A piece of wood, all right? Make sure that they've got wood or even uh, cardboard. You can actually feed, you can, you're not feeding them cardboard, but they're chewing their teeth down on it. And then they're just chewing it. They're not really swallowing a bunch of it. They will swallow some, so don't think they're not going to swallow a ton of it, but they will. It's not going to hurt them, all right? A human, we can we can swallow a little bit of cardboard. It's not going to kill us either. So if your rabbits are doing it, don't freak out. Don't think they're going to die because they're not. Um, I'll come back to that in a minute. So I also always like to try to get whenever I fill up their... Uh, the um, grass area out here always fill in their um, bedding area as well because it gives them a little f a little taste of uh, see she doesn't mind being petted it gives them a little taste of the wild I like to think of it that way it makes them comfortable they're not on the wire all the time it gives their feet a break and because these guys don't have the flooring that these guys have. And as you see, Jacob went out and got his rabbit a bunch of grass, and there she is. Hello. Hello, little one. Yes. So she was chewing on that grass before I got, came in here. But as you see, she also has a log. We always keep them logs in here, so they... Are you trying to get out? You want to stay in there, Miss, Miss Thane. So um, we always try to keep logs and stuff in there for them. And we got Mr. Wonderful down here. He's just, he's literally laying down, doing absolutely nothing. He's just kind of relaxing today. So, yeah, that's... usually up. He is usually up, but he's just probably tired. He's probably had a long day. I'm going to check on him here in a minute. I'm going to pick him up. What are you doing? You cannot get out. I have to shut this down because I'm afraid you're going to get out. All right, so, but that's about it, guys. I wanted to run over those little rules with you. Um... But like always, thank you for coming to the channel. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. And that's one thing. Make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. That way you're getting all the new updates for the videos coming out. All right? Or all the updated videos. How do you want to put it? But, uh, yeah. Don't forget, if you want to get one of these, run out and pick it up at the camping section. I got mine in, in a uh, sports... Uh, sports camping section. I don't remember where it was. It was not at Walmart because Walmart didn't have it. Um, I got it in Morgantown somewhere. Some kind of sportsman out, outdoors, sportsman oh, gear. Sportsman Outdoor. Sportsman Outdoor. That's what it was, yeah. Uh, I love it. Absolutely love this thing. Um, so, yes, it does we an amazing almost job. almost everything there. We get a lot of our stuff there, yeah. Wait, um, Working on a new montage. Should be coming out. Don't know when. Well, that's not very but helpful. Stay tuned for it. Okay. Well, that means you have to go to Rocco Jr. Sports to check out his montage. All right? All right, so like always, like, subscribe, notification bell. I know I've said that twice now. Just cannot put it out there enough. We want to hit a thousand subscribers. All right, have a good day and God bless. Day,